it's Nathalie and uh, I'm back. I want to show you, I, I had so many compliments and good comments on making this little altered paper clip. Uh, and I put it on a necklace and I wanted to show you, I just assumed that people know how to do stuff and not everybody knows how to do stuff. So, and I'm like the queen of doing stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do the the foil that I used on this, the cat, I thought for a while the cat ate it all. She's sitting right over there. But anyway, because uh, I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. But to do like a verdigray copper effect, I've just got like a regular piece of foil that I've crunched up a little bit. And I might just crunch it up. Just, and she's already laid on this, so, I, you know, it's already been crunched a little bit. My son says, oh, the cat's on your foil. And I'm like, it's okay. It needed to be crunched. All right, so crunch up just regular foil. You can do it on either side. And let's see, I think I did this on the, the, the dull side. So, and I'm using wintergreen. This is apple barrel wintergreen. So you'd think, oh, I need to use turquoise. But uh, you could probably use a turquoise on a combination of this. But usually it's more green than, uh, the very gray copper is more green than turquoise. Okay. And I have metallic copper. This is also a folk art color. These are both available at, I know, at our Walmart store. At least this week they are anyway. Uh, they change the colors out pretty often. And I've got just a couple of soft brushes. And so we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a styrofoam plate that's some dry stuff that's on there. It's not a big deal. No, it's not paint. It's not going to take a whole lot, and uh, probably not going to do the whole entire uh, piece. And then again, I'm, I'm going to use up all the paint that I have, and so I'm going to kind of go both both directions or all four directions so that I can get all of the get into the cre creases because I don't want a bunch of silver showing through on here. And so with a soft brush, it's easy to get into all of those little spots. I want to dry this before I put my copper on, otherwise it will smear. I've squeezed out just a little bit of my copper. I have this little flat brush uh, to use, and I also have a paper towel laying right here. I don't want to put this straight. Well, I guess let's try it and see if I put this straight on, fully loaded, and just lay the brush almost flat and then drag across. That looks pretty good. Sometimes I just dry the brush off and then uh, do a dry brush technique. But I think this will work pretty good. Just watch for globs. You can always start off on the edge of the foil and then come over into the uh, to the green area. that my studio companion, my studio assistant, Miss Kitty No, thinks that we're probably finished with this. So now I'm ready to cut it and get it ready to uh, make a couple of more uh, paperclip charms. Got to order for a couple of them and so we're going to go ahead, she and I are going to go ahead and get started on those. Give us a little thumbs up, subscribe, Visit to my blog, My Hall Closet. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, Kitty No and I will see you next time. Bye.